Hello and welcome to this channel. My name is Dick van Oeveren and today I will be covering MacSec on Aruba OS wired switches. MacSec is based on the IEEE 802.1 AE standard and provides Mac layer point-to-point -point encryption on an Ethernet link between two devices. So the MacSec protocol provides the following functionality. So it, it provides uh, connectionless data integrity, so that means that each Mac frame carries a separate, separate integrity verification code, so, so hence the term uh, connectionless. Uh, data origin authenticity, uh, so each Mac frame is guaranteed to have sent, has been sent by an authorized uh, Mac address station, Mac sec station. Confidentiality, so each Mac frame is encrypted to prevent it from being eavesdropped, and replay protection, which means that all the Mac frames copied from the LAN by an attacker cannot be resent into the LAN without being detected. So in order to achieve this functionality and establish a secured MacSec link, both devices use a standardized nego negotiation protocol, which is called the MacSec Key Agreement Protocol, or MKA for short, as defined in the IEEE 802.1 AF standard. Before we get into the live demonstration, uh, I would like to explain a little bit more uh, about the MK MKA, um, and the, the MacSec Key Agreement Protocol. So the MKA uh, protocol allows endpoints to discover other endpoints and confirm mutual possession of what we call a Connectivity Association Key, or a CAC, for short. This is a, a secret key that is owned by that specific endpoint. With this CAC, a Security Association Key, or SEC, is generated uh, to provide a mutual authentication between the endpoints. And also, in addition, the CAC provides integrity checking. So in this construct, one of the endpoints will be elected as a key server. So the key server is responsible for deciding on the use of MacSec, the cipher suite selection, the Security Association Key generation, and the distribution and security association assignment. So once the MacSec session has been established, there are three different MacSec security modes. The first one is static connectivity association key, and this is the preferred method for switch-to-switch -switch links. In this mode, a key server is elected from both uh, endpoints that generates the SAK. The SAK is a generated key that is based on the CAC and the so-called Connectivity Association Name, or CKN. The CKN is a configurable parameter for MacSec-capable devices. So, once the MacSec link is established, the key server is responsible for regenerating the SAC. So that's the first option. The second option is Dynamic Connectivity Association Key, and this is the preferred method for host to the switch links. This mode requires a radius server to provide a master key to both the host and the switch, and, an in, and the, uh, the radius server does that in independent transactions. So this master key is then used to establish the MacSec link. And then we have a third security mode, which is called the Static Secure Association mode. In this mode, there is no concept of a key server. Both endpoints have uh, all SEC parameters configured, and key generation and regeneration is done in turn by both endpoints. So I said the most common use method for switch to switch links is a static connectivity association key mode and I will show you how this is configured and maintained on our Aruba OS switch. I have two 3810 switches on which the first eight ports are smart rate ports which also support MacSec. Oh, by the way, if you're interested in a very good video demo of SmartRate, you can click on the link shown in the video. So the first step in setting up MacSec is to create a policy. So this is done with the uh, following command. So MacSec policy, and just give it a name, uh, to bottom 3810. Okay. And then the next step is to uh, assign a private key, so that's the CAC and a connectivity association name, the CKN, to the policy. So the CKN should be an even number that consists of hexadecimal digits, and it can be up to 32 digits. So mode pre-shared key, 
um, and then provide the CKN first, the name first. And what we'll do is we'll enter some CDEF and then we have the CAC which we'll do which is also an even number. We can also enable or disable confidentiality in a MacSec policy. When confidentiality is enabled, data packets are encrypted and verified. When we disable confidentiality, data packets are not encrypted, but they are still verified. By default, confidentiality is enabled, so we, we don't really have to touch that one. We can also configure the replay protection feature on this MacSec policy. When replay protection is enabled, the receiving port checks the IP number of all received packet. If a packet arrives out of sequence and the difference between the packet numbers exceeds the replay protection window size, the packet is dropped. By setting the replay window size to zero, it is mandated that all packets arrive in order. So replay protection is enabled by default and the default value of the replay protection window size is zero. So now we can uh, apply the policy to the MacSec capable port with this command. MacSec apply and then we have to uh, provide the policy name some 3810 and then the port. So that's that configuration. So remember that I was mentioning the key server. So we can set some parameters for the key server as well. We can set the priority and the transmit interval. The higher the priority, the more chances of the device becoming the key server. The transmit interval is for maintaining the MacSec connectivity. So let's uh, change that uh, uh, setting. Port access, MKA, and then we can set the uh, key server priority set that one to 18 and we can set the transmit interval to 4 and then we also have to provide the interface so we have applied the MaxSec policy to interface 2 so there we assign that to interface 2 okay so let's configure the bottom 3810 as well so what we have to do is we have to create a uh, policy uh, so that will be to the top 3810. We will set the pre shared key CKN to this value and the CAC um, as well. So we'll leave all the other, so the MKA parameters, um, we leave that to the default values. And then we assign the policy to the port. MaxSec apply policy to top 3810 to interface 2 as well. Okay, so that concludes the configuration. Now let's do some statistics checking. Let's take a look at uh, some of the commands that we can issue to uh, to check out the MaxSec uh, situation. So the first one we can do is show MaxSec policy. And that will give you the policy information. You can see that this one's running AS 128-bit cipher suite. Uh, confidentiality uh, replay protection is on obviously by default and we've got the CKN and CAC number here the CAC value uh, we can also check out the MaxSec status show MaxSec status and here you can see that the uh, actually the, uh, the, the, the the policy uh, has been applied to port 2 and the status is up. So MaxSec is running on that port. 
and we can also show you some uh, status specifically for the for the port so you're getting some more information here you can see the policy the transmit and receive secure channels and you can see that it is uh, it's assigned um, and another thing that we can do is we can show some statistics MaxSec statistics for um, port 2 for example right? uh, we can see here that uh, there are some bytes received and sent some packets discarded uh, so this is probably because we moved from a, an unencrypted link to an encrypted link so I've got a ping running on the bottom switch going to the top switch so you might see some drops there and another thing that we can do is show MaxSec statistics detail so we want to get some detailed statistics on port 2 you get even more information about the uh, secure channel transmit statistics here uh, another thing that we can do for the uh, MK MKA uh, protocol so what we can do is show port access Uh, and then uh, was it MKA status? You can check out um, the status. So one of the things you can see here is the priority and capabilities of the uh, of the switch. So the priority of the key server, the local key server, is 18, and the priority of the remote key server is 16 so in this situation the top switch the top 3810 is the key server so as you can see in this uh, video it's very easy to set up MaxSec on the Aruba OS switches I hope that you liked the video if you do hit the like button or if you have any feedback feel free to let us know thanks for watching and be on the lookout for more great videos on this channel bye